So hey, a couple of weeks ago, I did a video on the, what I think is the five best golf balls out there, five best golf balls for your game. And it sparked a really nice conversation in the comments section as other golfers were coming up and suggesting some of their favorite golf balls, a couple of which are really great sleepers. So hey, I've left a link to that video down in the description below. You can go revisit it again and you can check out both my favorite list and then check out in the comments. There's a couple of really good golf ball suggestions down there as well. But hey, in today's video, we're gonna flip it on its head and we're gonna talk about um, what I think are the five worst golf balls or the golf balls out there that I think you should definitely stay away from because they're just simply a cut or two below the balls that are I think are the best. And I don't think you're gonna get the same performance out of the balls on this worst five list. So stay tuned. Hey, this is Steve with HitItLonger.com. I'm on a mission to hit the ball longer and straighter off the tee, longer and straighter all the way down the fairway. And that means leaving no stone unturned in my pursuit of distance and accuracy, including my golf ball. So as I've talked about in other videos, uh, the premium golf balls out there are not all created equal. In fact, there can be a massive performance uh, difference between some of the best balls out there and some of the worst balls out there. So you have to be really careful, uh, do your research before you pick a ball that you're gonna play with if you really wanna lower your scores. All right, so let's get into the five golf balls that I suggest you stay far away from when you're playing. Okay, number five on the list of my worst golf balls out there is what I would just call the random golf ball, which means if you're one of those golfers out there who just kind of picks up balls that they find randomly or fishes them out of the pond, um, gets them out of the used ball bin at the golf store uh, because you're trying to save a little bit of money, well, that's gonna be one of the worst <laughs> ideas you can do for your score and for your distance. Uh, we know that balls fished out of the pond, which are often the ones you find in the used ball bin in the golf store for a dollar or a dollar fifty each. Um, those balls have really lost a lot of performance characteristics while sitting underwater and they're not going to be very good for your distance at all and so you can actually there's some budget balls out there that perform you know brand new a lot better than that random golf ball and you know you're going to get again a buck a buck fifty a piece anyway so you might as well step up into a consistent brand that you just play with every round get used to rather than playing with some random top flight pinnacle uh, random ball you find hey range ball um, because you're just not going to get the same performance coming into the greens around the greens and putting it's always going to be a little bit different your consistency is really going to uh, lag behind so when you're ready to step up and, and actually get serious about lowering your scores then I really suggest you move into some golf ball at least some brand that's consistent and you play that model uh, for months or a while anyway all right number four worst golf ball that you should avoid and <laughs> this is a really interesting one it's the Kirkland signature three piece which um, if you're an astute um, subscriber and viewer of this channel, you know I also included it uh, in my best golf ball list. Now the Kirkland made my best ball list because of the value mostly. The performance is all right. It's, it's medium to subpar, but for the value, it's hard to beat, especially if uh, you're used to playing with uh, number five on my list, just the random range ball or random top flight. It's a huge step up from there. But why is it also on my worst golf ball list? Um, because I think it's a trap. Um, the Kirkland signature um, at any uh, club head speed uh, significantly tests behind uh, other, a lot of other golf balls when it comes to distance. And not only are you losing some distance, but you're also not getting a lot of dispersion uh, either. So the golf ball is not super duper straight and the distance control on it is not great either. So if you need to hit a pitch shot, a wedge or a nine iron, you need to knock it close to the cup. 
then the Kirkland Signature is going to give you a slightly smaller chance of doing that because it just isn't that consistent. So overall, I'd say it's a trap ball. Um, what are your alternatives, Steve? Am I telling you to step up to a more expensive ball? No, actually, I got a great tip um, from a viewer in the best ball video in the comments, and I totally agree with it once I checked it out. You want to check out the Max Fly Tour. So the Max Fly Tour is available at Dick Sporting Goods. So in Costco, another big box store, Dick Sporting Goods, has bought uh, the Max Fly brand apparently. So they're putting out this ball, the Max Fly Tour, and it tests really nicely in every category from distance to spin off the wedge and dispersion. It's a pretty good ball and it's about the same price as the Kirkland Signature. So you're picking these balls up for about 15 bucks a dozen. Let me know in the comments if you've played this Max Fly ball, how it's performed for you, and give me a price check because I'm not uh, perfectly sure exactly what the deal is. You get two dozen, is it ever on sale? So let me know in the comments. Okay, number three golf ball that I think you should avoid because it's just, it's just not as good as a lot of other golf balls in performance and that is the Wilson Duo Urethane. So Wilson stepped back into the ball market again with this kind of a, a more affordable urethane option but the robot testing shows that it's just a couple of steps behind a lot of other golf balls that I like better. Um, it's very slow off the club face up to three miles per hour slower than my top choice and as you know hey hititlonger.com. I'm after long and straight. I need a golf ball that gets me out there. So um, the Wilson Duo is 10 or 15 yards shorter at medium club head speeds that you might be swinging at. And if you're a faster swinger, 105, 110, 115, that, this golf ball drops way behind, as much as 30 yards behind my top choice. And that's just dis distance you just can't give up. Not only is it lagging behind in distance, but you don't get really anything else for your money either, as the dispersion rate is fairly high and the spin rate is kind of medium. So there's not really good value in the Wilson Duo Urethane, in my opinion. All right, we're up to the number two worst golf ball out there. And it comes to us from, you know, a company that makes fantastic golf balls, and that's Titleist. So we're talking about the Titleist AVX, which has come out recently, again, kind of as one of these laddie balls or these um, club balls like they've come out with before. I think before they had the NXT. This is now the AVX. It's supposed to be this high-performance ball that has a softer feel and is a little lighter on your wallet. But the testing just shows that it's a couple of steps behind. Um, it's very slow off the face again because the compression is too low. And so if you watched my video on golf balls a couple of weeks ago, um, you know that um, slow compress, uh, low compression golf balls have been busted. Soft feel is busted. Uh, it just doesn't perform. You need to go for, for performance over feel. These golf balls are up to 39 yards shorter. It's about 15 or 20 yards in carry and then even more in roll. And they don't make up for it in any other category anyway. So they're just really um, not very uh, good performing golf balls. The Titleist AVX, well, it comes from Titleist. It's amazing that the dispersion rate doesn't match even close to their flagship ball, the Pro V1 and the Pro V1X. And so if you like Titleist and um, you know, you're a big fan of their brand and their golf balls, I would definitely uh, pass this model over and just step right into the Pro V1 or the Pro, especially the Pro V1X, I recommend a lot more and just pay the extra cost to move into a really super um, high quality golf ball. Okay, before we get to number one, I've got an honorable mention that didn't quite make this list. Um, another one of the uh, ever-growing uh, direct-to-consumer line of golf balls out there, it's the cut model. And so you have a cut gray and you have a cut blue. Neither one of them, I think, are up to par. They're both uh, very, very slow off the driver face because they're low compression and they don't really make up for it in dispersion. So there's not really any reason um, to play this golf ball because there's others out there in the same price range that just simply beat it for quality and distance consistency. So I would pass the cut line of golf balls uh, by. 
was you. All right, so what is the number one golf ball out there that you should pass by, skip over, do not play with because it negatively affects your golf game? And it comes from a name you might not expect. It comes from Callaway. It's the Chrome Soft. So both the Chrome Soft and the Chrome Soft X are among the worst golf balls in the robot testing uh, recently done by my golf. I mean, they might feel soft and they, they might have sucked you in with their campaign that, hey, we can, we can um, create a golf ball just as good as the Pro V1 or the Bridgestone uh, BX, but we can make ours feel softer. Well, that soft feel is not going to work for you when it comes to performance. If you're someone who thinks that uh, soft feel is very, very important, then you're going to get passed. You're going to get lapped by everybody. Because not only is the Chrome Soft and Chrome Soft X one of the shortest balls in the robot testing, it's so far behind um, the top models out there for distance. Uh, it's something like 15 or 17 yards shorter, just in carry. And it falls even further behind when it comes to the rollout as well. But it doesn't give you anything in dispersion either. So compared to the Pro V1X, is you know it was like the really the king of the straight golf ball and the distance control with Bridgestone coming in right behind that. The Chrome Soft is massively far behind in that category as well, as its uh, area of dispersion was much, much larger. Uh, you certainly don't get any big advantage in the spin either. There's other balls out there that spin better off the wedges anyway. So I can't see how um, you could possibly choose to play with the Chrome Soft uh, or Chrome Soft X when there's so many other brands out there that are clearly going to give you, it's, it's, it'll be noticeable in the distance and the spin and the dispersion. It'll actually be noticeable to a decent golfer how far behind you are in performance compared to the best golf ball brands out there. I hope this video has been enlightening. I hope there's one big takeaway that you get out of this video and that is that golf balls are absolutely not the same right now there is an enormous difference in performance anywhere from any category from distance to spin to dispersion to feel there's a massive amount of difference right now so i want you to really go do your research and step into a ball that's in your price range but do your research and find a golf ball the best performing golf ball in that price range so if you're into the for the lower cost, like the $15 a dozen ones, or if you want to move up to the $25, $30 a dozen golf balls, which are a lot of the direct-to-consumer golf ball line are running about there, or you want to step up to the premium model because score really matters to you, then definitely do your homework. Um, check out some of the research done on Mike Golf Spy and other websites. And hey, I think you'll find a good golf ball that's going to perform really well for your individual game. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm Steve, and thanks again to Golf Develop development complex in Moore Park, California for hosting us today. And as usual, if I don't see you in the next video, which I hope you'll watch, but if I don't see you in the next video, I hope I'll see you longer and straighter down the fairway. <laughs>